is going on guys today we are back with another video promised you guys a video down here on a big river system and today we are down here on the mississippi river pool four we we're actually down here yesterday to catch some fish we fished here we fished a little pool three fished a little bit of st croix river ran the gauntlet yesterday caught fish everywhere we went today it's nice and early out and we're going to go up and fish kind of the uh the the popular bite this time of year some of these high pressure areas which is up at uh, kind of the lock and dam of pool four very well known bite and uh we hope to kind of capitalize on that today and catch a lot of nice saugers and some walleyes is kind of the plan and uh we got out here nice and early there's a chance of rain a little bit of wind but this bite is so good in the fall it goes on it's really just kind of getting going and it's going to go for a while yet this fall and we really hope to kind of capitalize on that catch a whole bunch of nice fish today it is me we got surly and we got cody behind the camera right now we're gonna run up river find some fish and uh start casting and we actually got kind of a secret new bait that i kind of want to show you guys and catch a couple of fish on today um that's been working well so stay tuned let's get it going on let's catch some of these late fall river walleyes down here on the mississippi river and pool four All right, well, as you guys can see, it is raining pretty good now. We're supposed to have some on and off showers, which is kind of good because a lot of times it'll get away some of this some of this pressure out here and make them a little bit less boats is kind of the goal here. And uh, river fishing, basically the way this whole system is working is in, uh, in the fall as the water starts cooling you get this massive shad migration and bait fish migration that comes way back up river and uh, obviously a bunch of walleyes fall them so although this river will have walleyes in it there's resident fish all year long you'll get a whole bunch of fish coming back into it this time of year in the fall so we're just chasing these fish up river and these dams or these big neck downs and a lot of these river systems is kind of the natural stopping point for a lot of these fish and uh, all we're doing is we're going way up here by the dam. We're going to find a nice pot of fish on some kind of current seam. Kind of right there, huh? Yeah. And, and uh, a spot lock. Now, one thing you'll see in river systems is that there's just going to be a ton of fish, like, everywhere. You're just going to have, especially in these, in these kind of situations this time of year, you're just going to see fish pretty much nonstop everywhere you're going to go in these kind of, uh, you know, big bait fish funnel areas, which are really popular in good spots in the fall. And you can obviously see we got the dam right over here. There's already some boats on the other shore. And basically, we're just going to start throwing one of my absolute all-time favorite uh, river baits. Man, we just got crazy wind. We got crazy rain. It might be good because there's not going to be a lot of people out here today. And we're going to start with the Acme V-Rod today. And we're going to kind of switch it up from there. And uh, I just kind of want to wait till it gets a little bit lighter to switch to my new bait. But uh, Acme V-Rod three eighths ounce in this kind of fiery crawl looking color absolute killer down here on any of these stained river systems blade baits always a good option in the fall and uh <laughs> guys shooting ducks all around right now so so we're gonna get to fishing hopefully catch some nice saugers and walleyes today out here on the mississippi river show you guys a super cool bite that's happening really all fall and even into the winter long out here um close to probably where a lot of you guys live Right there, fish on. I think that's a nice sauger, Cody. I hit it nice on the way down. Oh man, these things are just angry up here in the current, man. Oh yeah, look at that. That's uh, a nice walleye or sauger here. Man, these saugers up here and these walleyes, they fight so hard up here in the current. Nice walleye there to get things going. All right. Well, we've got one, some kind of sucker. <laughs> You guys will comment on what kind that is because I have no idea. Don't spend a ton of time sucker fishing on rivers or reading fish biology books on rivers. Do you, Cody? Can't say ever have. But, you know, we've only made three, four casts so far. This wind out here is going to be just absolutely horrendous. But, you know, there we go. It's just a beautiful river wall. I get things going on the 3 8 sounds V-Rod. He popped it pretty good on the fall. These fish are real aggressive, real super, super healthy. 
Walleyes were kind of the minority yesterday. A lot of saugers, but you know, have not been fishing for long here. And we're already catching fish, which is a good sign. <laughs> oh, right there. That's definitely what we're after right there. I can grab him. I'll grab him. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> we're just listening. Nice little sauger there. We're just listening to everybody blasting away on some ducks right over the hill right behind us here. <laughs> and uh, catching walleyes and saugers at the same time. Can't complain. And these saugers up here are so unbelievably healthy. I mean, look at these guys. That is just a super cool fish. You know, we don't obviously live in northern Wisconsin. Do not get a whole lot of opportunities of catching these guys most places I go. But that's a good looking fish right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And they get bigger than that. And they are just so unbelievably healthy. Super cool fish. We'll let them go. Surly's not enjoying the weather too much today, are you, buddy? But you're a good little boat boy. Once it stops raining, you'll be happy. Okay, back after it. On the blade bait, that one trapped at the bottom. You know, some of these fish are popping it real hard and aggressive on the way down. Other ones are just kind of, you're lifted up and you got them, just kind of like that one. But we'll take them any way they want to bite. Something chase it in? Yeah, something chase it in. Right there, fish on. We are hooked up on. It's definitely gonna be another of the right kind of fish here. Cody just had something legitimately chase his bait into the boat. Since we saw you guys last time, we've caught a whole bunch of suckers. Cody caught a nice shad. <laughs> and uh, there's another nice sauger right there. Man, this bite is just so fun to do up here at the dam. You get all these fish piling up here. And it's just kind of a matter of you know getting in front of those fish and kind of picking kind of the right presentation obviously like most situations there's a few different ways you know you can fish to catch fish and look how that guy bit he just they're kind of trapping it to the bottom they kind of seem just like they're moving a little bit slower right away this morning and uh there we go there's another nice sauger though and man if you're you know in the area and uh, that's, I always enjoy coming to these places that are real close to big metro areas, you know, tons of population and still coming out and being able to catch a lot of these quality fish. And this fall bite is just that. Tons of these nice eater saugers and walleyes and the opportunity to catch a big fish all right here, <laughs> piling up river by a lot of these dams and neck downs. This is just kind of a classic situation you have happening on a lot of river systems this time of year, especially once you get water temps sub kind of 55, a lot of this bait coming back up river in a lot of these systems in this scenario they're filtering out of a like lake pepin but it might just be a big river system that you're fishing that has a big neck down funnel and a lot of times the bait really concentrates in those spots late in the fall and a lot of times you can take what used to be a trolling bite for most of the year and turn it into something like this where you can get in these close quarters pitching situations throw a blade bait catch a pile of fish Hooked up right there. Fish on, Cody. Feels like probably not a walleye, but maybe. What do you think? Could be right under the chin. We'll see. 17 inch saw guy. Under the chin? Is that what you're guessing? I'm guessing. Oh, nice sauger. There we go. Back on the board. Well, I'm not sure how much audio you guys had from that last clip, but it's been a little while here since we've caught a nice one. There we go. There's another real nice one. Just got a pile of boats around us right now. So we'll just kind of hold them down low, do a little talk, and look at that guy. Probably about a 19, 20 inch sauger right there. We'll let him go. Another one on that bait right there. A little blade bait. And as the spot we knew it was going to get today is getting pretty crowded up here. I can tell you this. It is just so much slower than yesterday, but is what it is. We'll get back to it and get another one.
All right, you guys just saw me catch that nice fish. And that is on a brand new bait I'll show you here in a second. We're keeping the camera real low because there's just so many boats out here. My gosh, did he get that thing good. <laughs> All right, guys, well, I just took the blade bait off. We're going to keep the camera real low here. Look at that. Another super nice, healthy river walleye. It's exactly, exactly what we're after right there. Doesn't get much better than that. And I just took that blade bait off, started fishing a little bit different bait. And uh, I'll show you to you guys here. Now, this bait has been pretty much just came out. There's a few sizes out on the market. And this is the Acme Hyper Hammer. Look at that thing right there. This one's a little bent up because I just had to yank it through the net. We'll bend the hook back straight. There we go. This bait is super cool. And you guys will hear a bunch more about it. It's kind of a snap bait, kind of like the Hyper Hyper Rattle, which I've been fishing forever. But a little bit different build. Nice, heavy snap jigging bait. Big, strong back hook. And you can snap this thing around in the current. And that was about my third cast with it. So we'll keep rocking that thing. A little bit jumpier style of presentation and see if we can get another bite on it. Oh, Cody's got one hooked up. That looks good, dude, doesn't it? Dude, if that's a walleye, it's gonna be a stud. It's gonna be a stud a stud. It is, isn't it? It is a walleye, right? I think I saw it out there. <laughs> yeah, we just, I was worried we had a whole bunch of corrupt footage, so we went and dropped cameras off, plugged them in quick at the truck, made sure the footage was not corrupt, Hit a little spot on the way out and look at that. Look at that. Cody snap jigging some walleyes. Oh. And when they bite, they are ferocious. So as you guys can tell, we're actually away from the dam. We're a little farther downstream right now. We're just fishing kind of a wing dam apparatus type of yeah, deal. Absolutely. Wolf that and what'd you have on there? A little Kalen's jerk minnow junior. There we go. Another awesome walleye. Chunky one here. Did you see they're super healthy out here? Caught this one on a Kalen's. Jerk Minnow Jr. Awesome bait here in the fall. I absolutely love it. Whether I'm fishing a lake, river, those are awesome baits. Snapping them around. Probably the, my favorite way to catch walleyes. Snap jigging, shallow wing dams, ton of fun. Well, we'll see if there's a few more here, I guess. All right, what kind of baits are we using? We're using a bunch of different baits. That's because river fishing, there's a lot of just this junk fishing where each situation might be different. And, you know, you can fish any kind of bait in these kind of depth zones in these situations. But, you know, kind of the confidence baits, which we're ro rotating through, you know, number one, the blade bait. And this is the Acme V-Rod in a 3A ounce and kind of this fire tiger, fire craw type, type of color. Awesome bait. Have a ton of success on this bait really all season long on the river systems. Blade bait's very good. Anytime you're fishing in cooler water temps, one of my absolute favorite baits right here, spring or fall. The other bait, which I caught <coughs> a couple fish on yesterday and a fish on today while we were still up to dam, is a brand new bait. And this is the Acme hyper hammer this is in the bigger size it's going to come out in a few sizes i'll link them down below i get your hands on some if you can and uh i think they're coming out with a few ice fishing sizes then the bigger sizes this is one of the bigger sizes right here it's got a rotating pin in there that makes some noise it's also got the the knocking eyes that the google eye jig has but it's kind of like a uh like a um what's the word i'm looking for cody Kind of like it's, it's in that category of the <clears throat> hyper glides, the hyper rattles, and your um, you know your jigging wraps, your shiver minnows. The different part about this, much bigger tail end hook on the bigger size, is much beefier, and it's got a flexible silicone tail, so you can never break this. You can get some different colors for it. It can rotate around for some different action. Normally I leave it like this, but it cannot break, and it never comes off of that thing. So it's pretty much indestructible, and it's a bigger, beefier bait. And the way I'm fishing this, just pitching it out, I'm just kind of popping it, just doing single pops. Amazing amazing bait to fish in current or deeper water because it weighs almost a full ounce very heavy and gets you down it cuts a lot of current now the second we switch down to fish in some of these shallower wing dam areas cody started fishing the quarter ounce google eye and just your jerk minnow junior to white and that hasn't 100 percent been the deal these two baits not great baits when you're fishing in two feet of water this bait 
good bait in two feet of water <laughs> so that's why we're using that and uh, i started with a swim bait cody started fishing this these the fish up here are obviously feeding on shad you know they push up out of pep and the, the shad there's just busting all over anytime you get around a good piece of structure whether that's up at the dam some shallow points some shallow riprap and that's kind of really you know what these fish are really feeding on i think that thing really just mimics a like shad you can just imagine this thing kind of drifting down in the current kind of running sideways as we're snap jigging it up and really mimics a shad really well so those are kind of three presentations we're having luck on you know you could probably fish a jig in a minute and have luck as well the one thing it seems to be though is that you know if you're doing static presentations there's so much bait in this river right now that if you're doing something like this it's just not getting bit because it's just too slow and they're just these fish are surrounded by bait so you know adding something like a little bit snappier whether you're fishing the v-rod blade bait and going like that getting that bait to jump or that hyper hammer and doing something that looks like this or this plastic it seems like something kind of jerky and twitchy is what you need to kind of you know those fish can kind of pick that out in a huge ball of shad that are all just kind of sitting there swimming so these are definitely the baits that uh, you know we're having a lot of success on down here on the Mississippi River today. Oh there we go. I can scoop them. Just like that. <laughs> There's another one on this little wing dam thing. Well, this ain't too bad of fishing. And this is a little bit more your spot. I'll go ahead and take a screenshot here on my graph for you guys. And all we're looking at here is we're just looking at these little schools of fish running the edge of this wing dam. We're sitting in three feet. Is that one there? Nice little eater walleye. Yep, tons of those size fish in this system right now. And we're just kind of picking them off. And uh, real shallow. You can kind of see how the current's kind of boiling and rolling behind us. This wing dam current's coming like this. It kind of runs up like this and it's just kind of creating that eddy especially because we got the wind coming from the south today and uh that one pounded it too yeah. just pounded it well i can't catch a fish down here but you can't catch a fish at the dam yeah. well, I can <laughs> catch little fish up there. You, can, you can catch a little fish at the dam got him oh There we go, another fish on. Oh, Cody's clocking him in here. He's got the cast, he's got the action, he's got the lure, he's got the mojo. Look at that, that's a nice fish. Man, dude, this bite out here is a ton of fun. You know, it's classically kind of like a ton of saugers up at the dam. We did catch a few nice walleyes right away, but all walleyes here in this real shallow stuff, which is a pretty common thing to see. And they're smoking that little Child. smoke in the jerk minnow. Absolutely smoking it. The other thing I like, Cody, is that there's just not even a boat in sight from right here. This is very nice. That, that part's also pretty nice. Makes it easy. We could talk a little more on camera. I always hate fishing around a ton of people like that. And that's just kind of what the, this bite is. You can catch them at other places downriver, obviously, but that mother load of fish is kind of up there, so we kind of wanted to show that. That one's hooked so good you just can't even get them off, pretty much. Oh. Another eater, Mississippi River walleye right there. Beautiful fish, we'll get them back. Hopefully you can catch them. Can't beat it. Fish? Oh, he's on him out there. He's on him. Getting it done. Good walleye bite. What is that thing? Guy thinks it's a white bass. Just running in the current. Not, in fact, the elusive walleye. Oh, I don't know what. I don't know what species we're on, but. Kind of a pretty little fish out here. Nope, oh, there he goes. Not as brown as the ones that we're seeing up <laughs> No, he's kind of a green brown bass, isn't he? Beauty. There we go. A little bit of everything in the river systems. It's kind of what makes these bodies of water cool. And this time of year, they're all eating shad. 
Uh, I just restarted it. Did it jump? Is it? it must just be a. Yeah, like way up, yeah, way up. In there. Oh, we just let that last small go, and I'm pretty sure Cody's got another big. Sm it is a walleye? It is a walleye. Oh, that's a really nice one. There we go. <laughs> How about that, buddy? Oh, river fishing, catching constant fish. Are you tangled? I can't catch a fish here, but you know, whatever. That's all right. I feel like me earlier. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of funny. Cody, I caught pretty much all the nicer fish up at the dam, and Cody's catching all the nicer fish here. It just works that way. Yeah, but look at that. Man, I mean, they are literally in like a foot or two of water. Another beautiful fish. Awesome walleye. Get him back. Lives another day. Right there. Tommy. Tell you guys what. Tommy. I finally quit throwing my stupid swim bait and for whatever reason. <laughs> they don't want the swim bait. What they really want is that. Yeah, it's real soft pop. Real soft pop just floating it over this little wing dam thing here. And there we go. There's another one. And just these fish are just so unbelievably whoa, healthy and angry in the river. I know that's kind of what it's known for, but I mean, man, any lake where you see tiny head, big body, super healthy, fast growing fish, and we're just catching a pile of them today. I mean, look at that. Another beautiful walleye right there. Got him? Got him. Oh, look at that. I was just about to throw a cast back over there, and there we go. And uh, this wing dam is kind of, su I mean, it's like a foot deep. And it just kind of fizzles out to like three feet deep on top right over here. And that's pretty much where all these fat Mississippi River walleyes are coming from right now. It's a lot of fish. I'll lay them right on your jacket for you. Mighty white of you. There we go. What do you think, Surly boy? You've been awfully quiet here recently. Surly? Come here. You wanna give him kisses? Come get a lick. Come give him kisses. Ooh, what is that? <laughs> Ooh, fish Ton of nice fish, my gosh. We are catching them now. All right, that is gonna do it for us today. Cody, how was the Mississippi River? It was fun, always fun. It was always fun to come to new locations, learn different things. It's always fun. Yeah, you know, most of the time we spend every single day in these deep, clear, natural lakes catching walleyes, and there, you know, it just kind of gets pretty routine. River is a great way to mix it up, and it has great opportunities really all fall. Spring and fall, generally always great on the river system, and uh, if you guys are really coming to any river system, these tips should help put you on fish and put more fish in the boat. So I appreciate you guys watching this, and uh, no idea where we're going to be next. You got any idea? You got any places you're like, end of the year, like, oh, I really want to go do that? Northern Minnesota again. <laughs> I wouldn't mind trolling I feel like some. We're always up there though. I know. I wouldn't mind trolling some trout like on Lake Superior or something. Yeah. Some cohos and browns or something. That'd be kind of a fun little mix. Maybe of, we'll make it out to Montana. Maybe Fort Peck, possibly. You're new thinking boat, about thinking about trip. thinking about picking up the boat, newer boat, and going out there. We'll see. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching this video. It's been a lot of fun down here on the river. We're gonna wrap it up right here. Get out of here. Drive a couple hours back north. But I appreciate you guys watching this. Stay tuned for more content, and we'll see you next time.